Hi, uh, welcome to Everything Embedded. Uh, this is the second part of the video uh, where I'm talking about how uh, we are going to be creating a 3D model viewer. So if you have not seen the first part, please make sure to watch the first part. Uh, that explains the basics of a 3D model and uh, what exactly are we doing in these uh, videos basically. And I think this may be the last uh, uh, last part of uh, last part of the video, as I think this should be enough to just uh, freeze the code. And I think uh, this is sufficient to prove to prove the the concept that Qt can be used to create a 3D model um, model viewer. And that is what this video is about. So what did I do basically? So if you as I said, if you have not seen the first part, please make sure to watch that. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll uh, launch uh, the new, uh, the modified version now and I'll explain uh, what is going on here and uh, yeah. So as I said, my plan was uh, just to allow, so, so uh, basically the idea is to just to allow some kind of a librarian feature. I mean, as I said, this is just uh, a day's, not even a day's work really. This is just a couple of hours I've spent. So this is not a professional product by any means. But uh, it's the concept is that uh, we should be able to have our own uh, library of uh, 3D models, whatever the local files you might have. So uh, to start with, for example, you can browse to a folder where you have all, so for in my case, I have all my models inside this folder called as 3D models, which has various subfolders and various directories and files and other things. So you just, so the UI will allow you to select a folder where all the models are located and you just press open and as you can see it is very quick it has built a list of fpx as well as the obj files now so now we don't need to drag and drop uh, we don't need to do it ourselves the embedded uh, the 3d viewer will automatically find all the files on your uh, system or uh, on the folder which you have specified it will find the graphics files uh, the 3d model files in my case, I'm just building FPX as well as the OBJ files. And uh, yeah, and the idea is if you double click on any of this, it should open up in a separate window and it should display there. So for example, I have this uh, 3D model of a Mercedes car. So if I double click on this, okay, so it has launched this now. So here it is. So if you, so this way, it will open up its, its separate window and you can inspect the model. You can zoom onto it and uh, do other stuff. And let's say if you want to open another one. So for example, I have a corveted a rigged Corvette. Let's open that, double click on it. So here it is, so another 3D model now. So you can observe the model in detail, uh, zoom in, zoom out, do whatever you want to do with it. This can allow further features as well. If you want to print the model, if you want to convert it into a different format. And so, I mean, I think you are getting the feeling now what I am uh, alluding towards. So it's like a 3D model viewer slash converter or uh, do whatever you want to. And so let's close this one. And uh, for example, I have the Shelby as well. Double click on it. So there are some, I have some problems with model files as well. So whatever is, what about this one? I have a couple of files here. So strawberry model, let's see strawberry. So here it is, strawberry opens up perfectly fine. So yeah. And so this I can close. So as you can see, I'm launching uh, child windows now. As soon as you uh, double click on this, a child window is launched. I don't know what this model file is, so let me open it up. Uh, King's Hall, I don't know what this is. So what about, do I have anything? For example, I have this plane model. Let me open that plane. Yeah, opens perfectly fine. So yeah, I mean, uh, but as you can see, Again, the problem is uh, it's although we have to double click on it to open it in a plane, it would be nicer if this can display a thumbnail. So without even uh, me uh, double clicking it, it should be able to 
display a thumbnail but that is a lot of work that means writing code to actually open the file uh, inspect the model and then generate a thumbnail and display it there it can be done but it's a great deal of work so, so i did not want to do that i thought okay just let's uh, let's build the list of the 3d models so in my case i'm building fbx and obj list them here and then when you double click on it it should open up in a separate window which is what uh, i'm doing now it's an improvement over the previous version but still not a professional product as such but uh, it can be done but i think you are getting the point now it, i mean if you are a, a small company or a, you know a, a dedicated developer you can definitely do that and it should be possible to uh, use various features uh, i mean I, I think the all the code is there qt is much capable and uh, yeah, I think that is what I was trying to uh, show in this video. I mean, how we can make a 3D model viewer which opens up a separate child windows and displays the model inside those child windows. So you are not confined to, so this is a truck, a semi-truck. As you can see, I'm rotating it now. So yeah, you are not confined to just uh, one window now. You can open up various windows and inspect the model as you deem fit. Okay, I think enough talk now. I'll uh, show the code as well just for uh, formality purposes. But I'll, the code is on the GitHub repository. So here is the code. So what is going on here? Right. So all I did was I created a new window. which is basically a list view which displays the list of files and the icons so again a very simple thing nothing complicated here and it just builds a list of files and folders and then uh, the other part is to have a separate child windows which is just a q dialog class from qt which displays the qml file so using quick widget q quick widget window I think you have seen this in the previous version anyway, but this is just, for, as I said, this is just a short video. And yeah, that's, uh, that is what it was, to be honest. I mean, uh, so we, as soon as uh, uh, we double click on any of the folders, we just launch the dialog and by passing the name of the file. And yeah, when we just show the dialog and it opens up a separate window. Well, I mean, even if you don't plan to write the code, but then if you are just want to use the 3D viewer, you can still use it because I plan to put it in a binary format and you can download it. It's available for Mac, but eventually I'll build it for Windows as well. So if you are one of those graphics uh, 3D artists or the person who needs a free 3D viewer with facility to search for models and other things, so this can be a useful feature. I'll put it on, on, on GitHub and other places and provide you with the link. I just wanted to keep this video short and I hope you like this short video and I will see you shortly in the new one. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.